Hello and welcome to a glowy summer makeup look. This is the makeup look I will be showing you today. I wanted to thank you for coming around to watch this and I hope it's calming and relaxing and that you enjoy my very simple <laughs> makeup routine. Um, kind of like a glow within look. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this and we can hop right into the tutorial. Welcome. Hello. Today we are going to do a summery, glowy makeup look in soft-spoken ASMR. I'm Stacy. Welcome back. And if you're new, hello. It's nice to have you here. Just thought we could sit and do our makeup, right? Just, just chill. Obviously, when we're doing our makeup, most of us are trying to get it done in like 15 minutes, right? That is the case with my personal makeup and morning skincare routine. However, I'm going to be embellishing uh, the routine with chit chat and all that good stuff, so it's going to be a little bit longer. <laughs> so I hope you find this this is my bare face. It's pretty clear skin. Um, I don't really struggle with severe uh, skin issues. Um, obviously, you know, everyone has their own situation. This routine is going to be light on foundation and concealer, but please build up according to what you're comfortable different in that way. Um, so yeah, I have a little bit of redness, blotchiness, I would say. Um, and I would like to start off with an ice roller just to depuff my face and it's a little warm, so that will be nice and cooling, but this is obviously an extra step that most of us don't really do every day, so it's really for fun. I'm just going to, bear with me, put on my croissant headband. <laughs> when I first wore this, my husband was like, you look like a croissant. And honestly, I'm going to take that as a compliment. Um, this is a very, like, trendy makeup headband. To be honest, it's not my first choice design, um, but it was really kind of the only thing didn't want to like spend a ton of time finding a specific design I liked and this does the job. Um, it's definitely for makeup purposes. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you're not into this. <laughs> I know it's so overdone, but um, it does really keep everything back. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Hopefully not ruin my hair too much. It's kind of tuck that back. I will say the one I got is a little short. Like it doesn't go further down, so that's a little weird, but I'll try to do that, and hopefully that will not ruin my, make my hair that I just did. Anyway, I have my ice roller, which I put in the fridge because the freezer makes it too cold, in my opinion. Um, this is good for muscles and all that stuff, but we are doing it on our face. Just want to depuff. I don't usually wash my face in the mornings, but if you prefer to do that, you can. 
I have found it doesn't really make a huge difference for my skin personally. Go over the eye a little bit. I feel like I get puffy around my eyes a lot. Um, especially just like if I have a lot of sodium and all that good stuff in the neck a little bit. Oh, <laughs> my earring. My earrings and necklace are from Luna Girl Jewelry. I currently have a discount code uh, for the uh, jewelry, which you can check out in the description. I was gifted it by the owner. She's a small business, so check her out. Love it. All right. I think we've done a good job. <laughs> now that we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my skincare usual routine. So, um, I like to start off with some eye cream. This is the La Roche-Posay Tolerian. So, I think I showed this in a recent video already, um, but I just do one pump. A little goes a long way. Do it between each finger and just kind of go around the eye. I do find this to be very hydrating and I like that it's affordable. I mean, it's still, you know, still kind of pricey, I would say, in terms of the drugstore higher end products but it is a lot more affordable than like some really intense eye creams out there. While that dries, I will go in with my vitamin C pixie toner. Um, it's called vitamin C tonic with vitamin C and ferulic acid brightening toner. I do feel that this does help my skin makes it a little bit more glowy. I'm sure all of these products help with that, but I've noticed a slight difference when I don't really use it consistently and I do it patting. I don't drag it just because I feel like that irritates my skin more. So I just pat it on around. Oh, I'm kind of a little fuzzy around my nose. Let that dry a little bit. So yeah, really like this. A little pricey, again. But vitamin C is a really great step and I found this serum tends to get pilly, whereas a toner just sets in the skin a lot better. Anyways, I'm gonna let that dry. <laughs> I am loving the summer skin vibes, embracing less is more, which is really what this routine is about. Um, but skincare is really like what I'm trying to focus a lot on. And then I'm going to go in with Holy Hydration Hydrating Serum by e.l.f., um, which is okay. I do feel like it helps. Is it the most amazing serum in the world? Not really. I do about one and a half to two pumps of the serum. Okay. I'm just gonna pat that in my skin. Patting it. I try to let everything dry like at least 30 seconds before I apply the next thing. And then I'll wrap it, the excess on the back of my hand been recently thinking a lot about like habits and healthy habits and not even just like, you know, eating well or working out or getting enough sleep. All of those things I do care about, but it's hard for me to not get overwhelmed by thinking about how much I do really wish I could fit in my day to day, you know? I want to be reading, I want to be writing more, because that's a hobby of mine. Find time for ASMR and, and then just like have time to veg out. 
and it's a delicate balance, but I've been really trying to focus on habits, like small things that really do end up adding up because I know how successful that can be. It's just kind of deciding the timing and the day-to-day, -day, really committing to putting things down on a calendar kind of thing, like I think this next month I have something to do every weekend and I'm really trying to like experience things more and hang out with people more that's family or friends or strangers <laughs> while also having a rest day in my weekend to dedicate to what I need to get done and then, you know, rest by myself. My personal rest time is really important to me, but I'm working on that balance of going out into the world a bit more, going outside, really making experiences, and also to not feel like material things need to give me joy as much. I find that going out and experiencing things helps counteract the need for buying a ton of things a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm not like a shopaholic by any means, but I definitely feel like I could be living my life a bit more vibrantly outside the confines of my home. <laughs> Alright, next up after the serum is the Daily Moisturizing Lotion by CeraVe. So I'm gonna put some of that on. Looking forward to this weekend. We're going to the aquarium. <laughs> My sister really wanted to go, and so we're going with her. I haven't been in a long time, like a really long time, so I am looking forward to checking that out with my family. <laughs> it's really like my partner and my siblings. I'm really trying to do more fun things this summer and like go to the beach. We did a beach picnic date night the other night and it was really great. It was just nice to be out and feel expansive, you know, instead of like, I don't know, just for some reason going out to the bar and like dinner and a movie feels a little bit suffocating. I still love going to the movies, but sometimes we're, we've just been doing that so much that I feel the itch to explore and do more fun activities and also be outside while the weather is nice. We've had a lot of June gloom, so it's made many of us feel the need to go outside. <laughs> while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and put on my Eucerin uh, Age Defense Hyaluronic Acid SPF 50. I love this. It doesn't break me out. It's really a lot for one pump and the hyaluronic acid part also makes it kind of glowy without being greasy if that makes sense so I just love that it really gives a lot of great coverage this is legitimately my everyday skincare Maybe minus the ice roller, that's kind of like when I feel special. Like I have a couple extra minutes, like a video. So yeah, I usually watch YouTube while I put on my makeup. I either like watch ASMR or I will watch a vlog. That is all my skincare. So I'm gonna let that just really sit in. I have a couple of favorites for foundation every day. I've mentioned this several times. I love the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I go through this like candy. Uh, don't eat it. <laughs> but I do love this. I'm in the shade Very Light. I like this for like a little bit more coverage despite it being a serum. You could like build it up. I will often not all the time, but sometimes if I want to be extra glowy, I'll put on the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. And I'll put this underneath. I'll just put it on my forehead and my cheeks. And then I'll blend that in. And then I'll put the serum, the L'Oreal one, on top. If I need a primer, I'll use the e.l.f. Uh, Power Grip Primer. I don't really use it every day, to be honest. Um, 
because I often like spritz with a primer, which I'll show later. But uh, another great option for a light summer foundation is the La Roche Posay Tinted Mineral Anthelios Light Fluid Sunscreen. I like this. The only hang up I have is sometimes the smell can be very like earthy and I can smell it throughout the day, but you know, it's just kind of a preference. I usually wear, like to wear this at the beach, the pool, a very casual outing if I just want that SPF. Um, but this is like another option. Again, if you have skin that requires more coverage or that you like more coverage, not that that's a requirement, you can test this out, but you can always, I think, preferably build up with concealer, like a good concealer. The foundation that I've been loving is the MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body. This is honestly something I wish I had in high school. Like, I, I just think this is a great option for anyone of any age, depending on how oily you get. I get, I think, combination skin. I do tend to get more oily in the T-zone, um, my nose, forehead. I tend to be more dry around here. For me, I don't really necessarily mind the extra glowiness, but it's not over the top at all. And if I usually put a powder on top to kind of mattify, and that is perfect. So I'm just gonna shake it up. Do you like my nails? They are like blue and green and perfect for my aquarium trip coming up so and summer in general so I'm just gonna shake that now I'm gonna use my fingers I'm wearing nails so that might be a little more interesting um, I sometimes will just do it over but there are so many times squeezing the foundation on my face ends up on my shirt and we are not trying to stain my white shirt today I'm gonna go ahead and like two small pumps a little goes a long way but you can build it a little bit it just you know it really depends um, for me it's it's more about evening out the redness it doesn't dry very quickly so you have time to work with it I go in first with my hands and then I'll go over it with a brush or a sponge can see like a random spot there. I don't know. It's not even a blemish. It's just redness <laughs> randomly. That's enough coverage for me. I also used the Ulta because you can buy MAC at Ulta, at least where I am. And they have a foundation match tool online that I tried. You just like have the camera on and it, you click through all the colors and it will show your face in that color and perfect match. Perfect. So, highly recommend it. Damp sponge and just lightly blend. Like, very lightly. I really try to make sure it's damp and not, like, soaking wet. Now, I like a couple different things for my eyebrows. And recently, I did get the By Ellie. This was, like, a TikTok viral product. <laughs> I was suckered into it, of course. And it's basically like a soap brow product. So it looks like that. And you just put the spoolie in the middle and get product. I'm still playing around with it. I feel like what happens is I like to shape my brows first and then color them in once the product I shape them with dries. But this product can still be a little wet. Like it doesn't dry for a while. I usually try to put on a eyebrow gel early on, like even before I do foundation, although I did do that step first. Um, I usually try to do it now so it dries by the end of my makeup routine and then I fill in my brows last. That's optional, of course, depending on your brow routine. Do what you love. I'm going to do the 24-hour brow setter by Benefit for today because honestly it's really fast and easy. <laughs> the other one is just like a little bit more maneuvering and I'm still testing it out but I do like it um, and I will 
would continue to use it, but I go ahead and brush back and then I'll brush upward and out. I remember the first YouTube video proper that I ever really watched was a Michelle Phan beauty makeup tutorial. I was 15 and I remember, I mean that was like way, that's how I learned how to do makeup, was YouTube. I found the confidence to learn how. Michelle Phan was also like a very soft-spoken person, so I kind of say that's like the first ASMR person that I watched because I would rewatch her videos all the time just to relax. So, I mean, beauty YouTube was huge way back when, like 2010, all that good stuff. It was very prominent. And it still kind of is in its own way now, but I think TikTok is more like prominent with the makeup community now, maybe. I don't hate my brows. Um, I don't get them professionally done, waxed, or laminated. I'm just content doing my brows myself. I think I've been embracing a more natural look. Not because, you know, just because it's easier and faster, but because, oh my god. It's so much work doing a ton of glam every day for work, especially when I'm sitting in front of a computer at an office that no one's looking at me. <laughs> and I'm just like, nobody cares that much. I can get away with like, less is more. And then it's more fun to do like heavier makeup other times. Okay, so gonna let that dry and now I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I used the Fit Me regular concealer. I'm a drugstore girly, honestly. And I just dab a little bit because it's pretty heavy, but I do blend it with a sponge so it tends to disseminate very well. This is literally all I'll do um, for these areas. Then I go in with a pink correcting concealer by, is it also Maybelline? And it's their Instant Age Rewind. Just a bit creamier. I'll put it under the eyes. And around. And I feel like this just adds enough concealer without it going overboard and cakey, which I struggle so much with creasing. And I've been really working hard to try and lessen it. I think my eye cream has been really helping and also just try not to do too much product up here. I'll end up blending this out a little bit. So I'm going to take my handy dandy sponge and just tap. I don't let it sit for that long just because the heavier concealer is a little drying, so I really try to just get in there. Sometimes I'll wait for it to settle in, but it's not a big deal for me. I will do a little bit on the eye lid, but like barely. I feel like this spot is still kind of there, so I'm going to go back in, dab. I think that's it. Just like the tiniest amount. With the heavier concealer, and just patting on top. So now we look a little pale, but we will solve that <laughs> with my next go-to summer product right now, which I'm excited to share. So there's a lot of controversy, well not controversy, but a lot of mixed reviews about the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand blushes and contour sticks. This is the blush. It's in Magic Hour. That's what it looks like, and I chose a darker blush from their line to achieve a bronze blush. It's a little, it's not a little, it's a lot shimmery, and I have to work fast because it dries, like, quickly. However, that does help avoid it wearing down quickly, so, you know, mixed bag. I'm gonna go in with this complexion brush, it's, it's very, like, movable, light. And I recommend that for achieving that airbrushed look. The denser the brush, the, the more like compact the color will appear. 
harder to kind of spread out when you're patting. At least that's my experience. So you want like a looser brush, in my opinion. Very messy, but I'm gonna just oh, squeeze it a little bit and it ended up being a lot. So we will see um, how we do, but I'm gonna just start with a little bit. You always wanna build up. And I'm just gonna pat. Definitely more shimmery, so if you want a more matte, bronzy contour, definitely don't recommend this. But I do add powder, so this is like my underpainting method, so keep that in mind. Okay, wow, that was like kind of a big glob. <laughs> uh, I will try to disseminate here. Why do I keep using the word disseminate? I'm a big blush girl, so I really like putting blush and bronzer, maybe not bronzer, but this is a very light bronzer, so I love a lot of blush. Um, for me, I feel like that really works well. Other side. I'm kind of reaching up past my eye. Okay, do my forehead. A little does go a long way. So then I'm going to do a little on my nose, just a tiny bit, which doesn't feel like a tiny bit, but pat that in and take the excess onto my eyelid. I like doing my eyelids to just kind of feel like it lifts up my face more by adding that warmth. There's more light on this side, so it just looks darker. <laughs> so I really got to be careful to not overdo it on one side. That's why we have a sponge to help us blend where necessary. I think we've done enough. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the messy blush back together. That's the only like gripe I have is how messy it gets. So I'm gonna go in with my sponge and just blend the edges out very lightly, light hand. Okay. Blush. I have this one by NYX called Sweet Cheeks. It's a more coral color, which we love. Like bright coral. Like that color. I love that for like a burned sunburn look, but today I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty blush in Hope. It's like a perfect pink without it being too, uh, for me, it's just more of like that not too red, not too blue type of thing, if that makes sense. It's like a neutral, a good neutral. Going to dab a couple dots. I really blend this out, so I'm not really afraid to go in with it, to be honest with you. I love blush. I love rare beauty blush. I'm gonna go in with the same brush and concentrate the blending up, and I'll even do it over my eyebrow eyelid again, add some color, and kind of is like an eyeshadow without being an eyeshadow. Are we wearing eyeshadow anymore? I just, I don't know. It's hard for me to reach for eyeshadow nowadays, so it's just so much easier. Add some color without any fuss. This is a little more forgiving. It doesn't dry right away. Ooh, it looks so much stronger on this side, but that's because there's less light. <laughs> I might do a little bit more on this side, because now, again, it's looking just a tad darker. I always feel like I go heavier on one side, and then I have to, like, really even it out. <laughs> like, just naturally. Despite the lighting differences anyways. So I usually just do the end of my nose. I know it's looking a little much, but I will be going over with powder, so bear with me. This is how we're looking. Shiny. <laughs> now I'm gonna do some powder. So it's kind of like I underpainted. You can do powder bronzer blush on top. I'm just like that so much. And I, I 
feel like I would do that if I was going out, out, like at night maybe, or somewhere fancy, but just regular powder setting everything is fine by me. So I'm using Airspun Loose Face Powder and it's translucent extra coverage, which it is. It's pretty high coverage. Maybe a little too much for the summer. I mean, not like super. It's not super crazy, but even I feel like sometimes it's a little much if I put too much on. So I'm gonna just start off the cheekbone and then start building lightly on top. Very lightly, not trying to completely cover the shine. Sometimes I'll finish my eyes and eyebrows and then I'll come back with a little bit more powder but nothing crazy so looks like my skin but better <laughs> I'm gonna set the under eye and the eyelids lightly with like a little brush sometimes I'll use the powder puff but I like it a little lighter with the brush uh, try to smooth out any creases and then go in. I mean, it's gonna crease a little bit. Just is what it is, girl. Like, <laughs> I just am not able to fully get rid of it. And honestly, I think I could really pack on a lot in a way that makes it not crease. But that's just how my eye is doing lately. Just naturally has a wrinkle there. In the crease, I will powder. Okay. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows and I just use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown and does the trick for me. It's only like 10 bucks. However, I know Benefit Brow and a ton of other, pro you know, companies do great bra brow pencil. I prefer pencil um, versus like a shadow or a pomade kind of Thing. I'm just filling in some gaps. Honestly, I used to do concealer cleanup around it. And honestly, I just can't be bothered anymore. I feel like it ends up looking kind of cakey. Unless I'm like going out at night and I can really take my time with it. I've sort of abandoned that method now because it just kind of is impractical for every day. Again, I'm trying to do less is more. I, I feel like I tend to go strong in the eyebrows a lot and I've been really working to pare it back, you know? Slight strokes. And sometimes I have to just stop myself and be like, you're done. You can always come back to it. But we're done. We're not trying to look like Groucho from Sesame Street. Or honestly, any puppet from Sesame Street. I'm trying to avoid that. <laughs> like, I just don't want to look angry. Like, I already look kind of like, but that's just kind of how my face is, so, you know. But see, this is, this is light enough, so I'm going to move on to the next eyebrow. I do like a straighter brow, so I'll usually like pluck the very ends a bit shorter, but otherwise, I don't really, I maybe haven't needed to pluck underneath my eyebrows in a long time. I might trim the top, but that's... Again, kind of rare. I just kind of let them live a little bit. <laughs> They're cousins, not sisters. <laughs> Is that how the saying goes? Okay, so I do have a final step for my brows, but I'm done filling them in for now. So I'm going to wait for that final step, but that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to do some highlighter. I always forget highlighter, to be honest. Sometimes I'll just like run out the door and forget I didn't even put any on. But this is the Rare Beauty Highlighter in Accelerate. It's the powder highlighter. And I'm using this OG like fan brush, which honestly, I like this. I feel like it blends it like an airbrush way. I used to use this brush, but honestly, it's just a little... 
concentrated. Again, the looser the brush, the more airbrush look you're getting. I'm gonna take this fan brush and just lightly dab <laughs> into the highlighter. Tap it and then and it just like really absolutely keeps it from being just like this streak across my cheekbone. <laughs> I'll do a little on my nose and a bit on the bridge. And then usually I'll take my finger and dab it, but I have some nails, so I'm gonna take this brush. Just a tiny bit, very light amount. I feel like if I put too much in the inner corner, it tends to like cake up. Just a very tiny glow. It just kind of looks like normal skin, which I love. Now, if I'm feeling fancy, I will put on some little bit of eyeliner, which I'm gonna do for you today. However, most 90% of the time, I don't put on the eyeliner if it's work. Again, no one's looking at me, but I'm feeling like because it's a makeup tutorial, we should do a little eyeliner. So I'm going to use the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It's okay. It's doable. I'm going to just do a very light line, but you can build up the liner. I Sometimes I do a strong liner and that's the look. So do what you are most comfortable with. I have to look in this mirror. I do have hooded eyes, so sometimes I have to go a little stronger with the wing, otherwise it's like you can't even see it. Um, if I'm going for a more delicate even, it's not so much the thickness, it's more like wider out uh, or like longer to get the same effect. <laughs> I'm always like, oh, I'm going to do a delicate eyeliner and then it ends up being now it looks delicate, but it's kind of thicker on the outer corner. Again, because I have hooded eyelids. <laughs> but it's never glamorous trying to put on eyeliner. It's always like a battlefield. Um, so I'll just come up close. Nothing crazy, right? Yeah. Like, I mean... I usually skip eyeliner, but for the video, I decided to add it on. Um, and this could be like an all day and night, depending on the primers you use and all that stuff. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I don't tend to curl my lashes because I use eyelash serums, so they tend to be already pretty full, enough for me. Um, but I'm gonna do them today because I feel like they do need a little bit of oomph. So, just like a slight... I used to use the eyelash curler like all the time and I just found I don't really need it as much with eyelash serum when I curl my lashes. Before I put on mascara, I'm going to finish off with an extra swipe of brow gel. This does not cake up because of the light amount of product I use, but I would be mindful of that. And I just like to really get them fresh looking, like fluffy. A little imperfect, to be honest. And then the other side. Done with the eyebrows. I will go ahead and then do some of the primer, like setting spray, if you will. This is Revitalize and Set Multitasking Spray. Bear with me by NYX. It's good. It's okay. If it's nighttime, I'll go with the Urban Decay all-nighter. This stuff really keeps things locked in and especially if I spray and then put powder on top, makeup is not going anywhere and it's beautiful like glow um, so absolutely recommend this for like you really want things to stick especially during hot or sweaty days. I'm just gonna go in with this spray um, for the spray. I'm doing it before my mascara on purpose. So. I'm just going to do a light amount. Um, ooh, it's very refreshing. So I'm going to let that sit. Often I don't put powder on top, but again, if you really want things to stick, go ahead and add like a powder puff of light powder. Lastly, I'm going to go in with some mascara. 
and this is the Sky High by Maybelline. So, you know when you just have a mascara that you use for like two straight years until they stop selling it and then you have to move on to whatever other mascara they come out with? That is me. I am that girl. Been that girl since high school. I don't think I've ever bought like a nice brand mascara before. I'm open to it. I just don't really feel like it's so necessary. I'm more inclined to spend more money on like the skincare or foundations or blushes, that kind of thing. A mascara and eyeliner, I don't know. I use Grande Lash ooh, uh, to grow my eyebrow or my eyelashes. <laughs> I put it on like every night, give or take. Honestly, I think a lot of us should be embracing even less makeup for the summer because it's hot out there, okay? It's hot and it's sweaty and putting on a full face of glam can be a lot. So hopefully we can all embrace our natural selves here and there, however that looks to you. Mascara is done and we're looking very dual-like, which is great. That's the effect I was going for. Everything starts to droop down later anyway. So this is the makeup up close we love it it's just glowy kind of a glow within if you will makeup tutorial <laughs> um yeah i'm just a normal girl doing her makeup just like everybody else and um honestly i've learned that you know i could pack on the powders and i can do this spray in this powder, but honestly, like, the day-to-day, -day, this is what I'm mostly wearing, and I'm good with that. Like, I'm content with it. <laughs> so, hopefully you found this tutorial, I don't know, relatable, or, you know, something simple you could try out. Um, I love all the products I'm using. I will wrap up with my lip product, really only wear like aquaphor chapstick um but for the spirit of the makeup tutorial i have a lip gloss and liner that i'm just gonna pair together this is the pillow talk um lip liner i think in the like lightest or basic color there's different shades apparently so just be aware of that I honestly wish I got a slightly darker shade, but there's like barely a nub. So I'm just gonna do a little bit for some color. Nothing like, you know, groundbreaking. I do love lip liner. I feel like it just, I don't know, holds up really well. Sometimes I'll try to fill in the Cupid's bow. Is that what it's called? A little bit. Nothing major. It is what it is. Um, and then this is the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. I'm really into Maybelline products. Like, apparently. So, Maybelline, if you're watching. <laughs> I'm joking. Um... do a light amount I think I put it like over my lip accidentally <laughs> oops let's be real this is my year round makeup <laughs> I think I'm really embracing the bronzy glow I'm not afraid of that um, yeah that's the lip gloss we love a lip gloss I'm gonna take my hair out now out my hair a little bit just to like <laughs> get back the volume I'm really trying to grow out my hair and I'm being so patient I'm really avoiding any short hair spontaneous cut moments because I really want that long hair and it's working like it's pretty long compared to months and months ago 
think the headband sort of <laughs> ruined the effect a little bit with my bangs or my curtain bangs if you will um it's okay what do we think <laughs> super simple i mean this took a long time in my eyes but mainly because i was talking through products and things so obviously a normal day it'd be like 15 maybe 20 minutes that's because it's usually like the length of a YouTube video that I'm watching, like a short one. So yeah, I think this is perfect for me and anyone else who wants to keep it simple with minimal amount of products, but obviously the skincare I really focused on and do consistently. So that really helps, but yeah, I hope you liked this video. But yeah, I'm really trying to embrace the summer for what it is. Less is more. You know, but add in the fun stuff and focus on... Like, there's a lot of pressure to make sure you're doing everything all the time in your routine. All that good stuff. But I feel like if we're all making small changes every day, that those add up habits. I think the biggest thing I could recommend for myself, because I need this advice, is like, it doesn't need to be perfect. Maybe it just needs to be done. And I have to remind myself of this all the time, but not everything needs to be done perfectly and within the max amount of time you're hoping to achieve something. Every day is different and every moment is going to serve you differently. Whatever goals you're trying to reach, whatever habits you're trying to make, remember to have fun and not overwhelm yourself and enjoy every moment for what it is. And the hard moments will pass. And I, I just want to remind you that you are amazing just the way you are. And I hope that this was calming and relaxing for you. I know for me, ASMR is critical for relaxation and anxiety. And I'm just so thankful that I could partake in helping you with that, if that's the case here. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed. And I, I definitely enjoyed our fun our fun makeup time, you know. <laughs> it's not as relaxing every day as this, but you know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.